uh, to heaven as a little handicap or club. These are handicapped yes, to sir. God's kingdom. God can't fight like this when yes, you still sir. have strife among yourself. You got competition and you always want to do things with a jealous spirit. You can't do it and do it half heartedly. Because I tell you, because you're not going to have no love if you've been taught about love and somebody's going to tell you to do with what you've been taught. If somebody yes, keep telling you and telling you and telling you and telling you, then you don't have a love because the yes, spirit sir. is the spirit of love. And it will tell you to do it through the spirit. Why would God have to keep telling you to do it? And yes, keep the man of God keep having to preach it over the pulpit, Hallelujah. preach it over the pulpit, yes, preach it over the pulpit. How many times this going to come through over the internet and YouTube? Hallelujah. Keep telling you preachers, come and humble and come to this Spartanburg area. If you can, come and be taught by a bishop. You yes, do what you can. Get the teaching for the prophet because this prophet is on his way to heaven. He on his way to glory and you need to come on and follow him today. He's a great man. That's yes, why when you, when, you, when you know you come in and walk in the building, and the church uh, edifice because you feel the power come stronger yes. into the church. I'm not saying we don't have power, but it yes, even sir. gets stronger. Yes, now, yes, that power don't come by uh, teaching a watered-down message. Oh, Jesus love you, come and on, this God. I know, and all that stupidity. That's babiness. That's Amen. what baby saints, okay? Yes, now, when I looked it up, a baby stays a baby, what, 12 months? And after that, when you when you on the bishop teaching, even in six months, you can grow up. Yes, I mean, you can grow up in six months. you got to wait the whole 12 months. Now I go by what the Bible says. Yes, I get tired of this foolishness. People yes, out here are, are dying. They're going to hell on today. Yes, are you going to do something about it? Are you going to stand up and fight? And we're going to fight every first Sunday. We're going to be teaching again and preaching yes, against homosexuality. Yes, and we're the only ones standing out there in Spartanburg yes, County building. It don't matter how many, because what did God do? He strode the whole world for one person who believed God when he said it's going to rain, it's going to rain. And I don't need to preach 120 years. And Bishop been preaching, I don't know how many years, but he ain't going to stop preaching. Because he'll say, okay, I started with five, and I'll end with five. Because he wanted somebody to be saved. But Bishop didn't enter this it's for money, for vainglory, for, for none of this. He want, he loves people yeah, on today. And these preachers don't love you. Why are you going to believe these foolish preachers? They don't love you from Adam for whatever. Amen. They don't care nothing about you. They care about how to fill up their pocket, yeah. how to have an easy going life yeah. on your back, on your hard work and labor, and you struggling every single day. On, and they yeah. tell you, you ain't got enough faith. Amen. Now you got to stop being foolish and going to these people, yes, these God. foolish false prophets. You know, prophets every day keep lying and say, your faith ain't strong. Your faith ain't strong. No, faith is about obedience. It's about how much you be in obedience, how much you're going to get blessed. Yes. And that's how blessings come. Now how much yes, money Lord. you give. But God yes. tell us how much money to give and when to get it. He said okay. on that first day of the week, collect the offering or the collection. You don't be collecting time and money and all these, all these five and six, seven times in a day. That's ridiculous. <laughs> and God, that don't make no sense. And try to make you feel bad because all you got is ten dollars in your pocket on, and somebody man. else got a hundred. So what? That's Amen. all that you gave. Didn't that Bible tell that lady that's yes, all she had was her last little money she gave? Yes. She was greater than anybody because she gave her all on today. And that's all Amen. God requires on today is to give your all at every moment. He said to worship me with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength on today. And people not giving all their strength to this whole this walk. They're not strong enough out here. Amen. Why? Because they don't have a strong leadership. That's and you need strong Amen. leadership to be stronger today. Amen. There's no way you can be strong by yourself. It's impossible. Amen. How can you teach a child to do this and that if they don't see you first doing it? Amen. Children don't follow what you say. Yes, they follow what you do. I don't care what you say. They follow what you do. If you do it, they will do it. Yes, Amen. 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 Thank you. Hallelujah. Praise <laughs> A wonderful Bible class so far. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. Certainly fired up this evening. Thank Amen. you, Jesus. Yes, yes Lord. Amen. Brother Lansing mentioned something about homosexuality. <laughs> and oftentimes, speaking to the prophet, I couldn't understand homosexuality in a proper way. I never yes. could understand how a, a person could bring themselves to that point in life. And uh, the prophet shared with me one day, he said, Well, you know, if you can entertain a good spirit, which is Jesus. You can entertain a bad spirit too. Amen. 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 It's an incremental step-by-step -step process. Mm -hmm. A person's disobedient when they're younger, and, 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 yes. and they, they carry certain traits, and it's uh, influenced by maybe a boy if it's influenced by his mother, and, and then it goes on forth from that and continues on and continues on. And, slow, and, and eventually, that spirit needs to be fed. Yes. And it's a negative spirit that's being fed in these children today. Yes. Somebody come home and say, well, yes. I'm a homosexual and a young kid. Yes. Well, you straighten them out. Like Bishop said many yes. times, sometimes you got to straighten them out. Yes. They don't know at that age. Amen. But if you encourage it, then you're allowing that, that spirit to get stronger. Yes. And it snowballs. It's got a snowball effect. And that spirit Amen. gets stronger in them and stronger in them and stronger yes. in them. But God's Word definitely talks about homosexuality. And I want yes. to take that from yes. Romans, the first All chapter. Right. Yes. And uh, yes, sir. that spirit eventually... Uh, gathers enough momentum to where it overtakes the individual. Yes. Uh, just as the Holy Ghost overtakes us oftentimes when we get happy in church. 
But if you can think of it as a opposite of the Holy Ghost, yeah. so, so to speak, it overtakes them. And, and they have no joy, so they try to find things to give them joy. And, and, and that spirit keeps on and keeps on and keeps on. Kind of like a drug addiction. they gotta got to start with a small drug first and get, go on a little bit further with the stronger yes. drug. And yes. Go on a little further yes. to feed that spirit. Yes. But I think uh, around the 24th, uh, starting on the 24th verse, 24th chapter, uh, 24th verse of chapter 1, it says, Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanliness yes. through the yes. lust of their own hearts, right. to dishonor their own body between themselves. Talking about homosexuality. Yes. Dishonoring. Their own bodies between themselves. Between themselves means like-minded. It doesn't mean between man and woman. It means between man and man and between woman and woman themselves. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Now, let's, let's jump on down to... Uh, uh, jump on down to verse 27. And likewise, also, that men, leaving the natural use of the women, and we all know what the natural use is between a man and a woman, he said, be fruitful and multiply. <coughs> That's the natural use. Burning their lust towards one another. Not between opposite sex, but between one another. Amen. Men with men. Working that which is unseemly. Yes. Receiving themselves a recompense. That, that's a penalty. Yes. Recompense. Of their error which was meet or fitting. The men were, were with the men and the women with, with the women. Yes. But you see, they don't teach the doctrine in the churches today so the children don't know. Yes. They don't know, really, even the adults are, they're still children in the churches. Hallelujah. Because they haven't received the true word of God. And they don't know how to handle these negative spirits when the spirit hits them. They don't know how to say, oh, Jesus, get rid of that. Hallelujah. And call upon Jesus when they receive a negative spirit. You, you see these people and the pastors and, and all these people coming out of these churches sometimes, big frowns on their face. Hallelujah. But when we walk out of true life, everybody is so happy. Hallelujah. Because we got the right spirit. As the prophet said many times, it's not about how we speak in tongues. It's not about how, uh, you know, it's not about that. But it's about the spirit within. It's about uh, how you prove yourself in the sight of God. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. See, everybody can have a negative spirit every now and then. Yes. That don't mean that, that you've done something wrong. That's mean you're going through the battle. Amen. But when you call upon God, God can deliver you from that spirit. Yes. Amen. But it takes the doctrine yes. or the Word of God. Yes. The Word of God comes to try you know, and prove the individual. In other words, tests and trials do this, but you line up with the Word is what I'm trying to say. It tests you. It tries you. It, you got to take another look sometimes and step back and take a look, another look whether you are obeying the Word of God. And once you step back and obey the Word of God and look at yourself and line yourself up word with word with this Word, hallelujah, then you know that you are, uh, then you're going to uh, receive your reward in heavenly places. Hallelujah. You know that you live in all you know how for God. Yes. Not everybody can do that, and not everybody can be under a leader like we're under. Hallelujah. Amen. I praise God and thank God for that leader. But it says, For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust shall, they, shall the heathenness of teachers having it in years. They want to go to a church where they can be told what they want to be told. Yes. And, and as long as they pay that tithe money, that preacher's going to sing to them whatever they want to be sung. Yes. Hallelujah. Or, or teach to them whatever they want to be taught. He's going to say, okay, it's all right if you're homosexual. It, 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 you can't help that. God made you that way. Amen. God ain't never made nobody that way. Amen. You found me one chapter in His Word where God ever made anybody a homosexual. Hallelujah. And I'll eat my Bible. It ain't in there. I'll tell you that now. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm going to go to First Timothy chapter 1 and begin at verse 3. And the apostle writes here, uh, well, let me go back to verse 2, because I want to establish something about humility. Yes. Unto Timothy, my own son, in the faith. Now, if he's the son, I mean Paul.